Welcome back. The crew for Axiom's first private mission to the International Space Station has been announced. And on the team, acting as the first civilian pilot, is a 71-year-old Dayton businessman. Will you spoke with him about the mission and has the story. I've always been interested in space, but I never had a dream as a kid to be an astronaut. Larry Connor is an entrepreneur by day, but by night, he's been researching and working on a plan to get to space for years. Space is really the next great frontier. And there's so many positive things that can come out of this. Connor has owned and started eight different companies in his life and amassed a small fortune along the way. He's dedicated a lot to giving back, with plans to contribute $400 million over the next 10 years to underserved children in medical research. That's what this mission is about for him. Although his seat came with a steep price tag, he plans to collaborate with the Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic to do research projects while he's there. I get the uh, criticism on some parts about, hey, with all the problems on Earth, why are we doing this? Research, because it's a very, very unique, uh, not able to replicate uh, arena. And so we believe long term it could create a lot of positives for everybody around the globe. Connor, along with two other private citizens and one former astronaut, will go through about four months of intense training and medical tests before they're scheduled to blast off next January. And when they do, 71-year-old Larry Connor will become the second oldest person to fly in space. People have asked me, are you afraid, are you nervous? Uh, no and no. Age is overrated. I think it's about mindset, attitude, uh, doing things to keep yourself healthy, both physically as well as mentally. Will Uick, 3 News.